Welcome to this ICF Slalom podcast episode, part of the series running until the Paris 2024 Games. We bring you the inside stories from around the globe from the people who make canoe slalom so special. Here's your host, John Gregory. Thanks for joining me for this special series of daily ICF Slalom podcast episodes from the Lee Valley World Championships. One short episode each day will recap on the day's events and what to expect the next day. 50 nations will be battling it out on the white water made famous through the London Olympics. The first 12 countries in each of the men's and women's canoe competitions and the first 15 in each of the kayak competitions earn qualifying spots for their country for the Paris Olympics. For this first preview episode, I'm so pleased to be joined by Richard Fox, Anna Satila and Guy Diez Canido. I started chatting with five times world champion Richard Fox, noting that it must be nice to be back again at World Championships in Great Britain and where he did rather well back in 1981. Well, that was a good way to kick things off, yeah, for the career, but um, it's great to be back in Waltham Abbey, actually. I I love visiting here around the time of the Games and discovering what the uh, Lee Valley's got to offer. I mean, I grew up not far away too, so uh, it's great to be back here and uh, see everyone and lots of old friends and new friends and, yeah, the community's out. It's, It's great. Seemed appropriate to come back to Richard where we finished our daily episodes in Augsburg. Well, where's Selena? She was uh, on with the podcast last year, so shout out to Selena Jones. Well, this week, obviously, uh, kicking off with the team events. That's always a good way to get into the racing and, um, you know, for everyone to sort of blow out the cobwebs. Uh, but uh, it'll all be about progression on Wednesday and Thursday and then into the semis and finals Friday, Saturday. So it comes around quickly. And obviously, there's lots up to grabs in terms of up for grabs with the Olympic quotas that's I think in the back of a lot of uh, minds and uh, then the kite cross to finish up so great festival of paddling and, and it'll be good to see the stands fill up throughout the week. We will look forward to checking back in with Richard through the week's racing. I have been wishing to chat again to Brazil's delightful Anna Satela for a while. I found my opportunity at the opening ceremony I first met Anna as a 15-year-old at the London Olympics, now 11 years ago. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so happy. It's a place with so many good memories, so it's a pleasure to be here now. Okay, and I hear you have other news or reason for celebration. (laughs) Yeah, actually many news, but the most important, the biggest one is that I'm getting married in December with Mathieu. It's, you know, the love of my life. Uh, We are athletes together and we've been sharing a lot of history for the past six years now and uh, he has been so important in my life in the worst moments even during COVID uh, uh, we couldn't really train or have uh, you know a very nice uh, moment in life it was everything very complicated and he always had been there for me even coached me during the Olympic Games in Tokyo so after that you know, we, we shared the amazing story together and then uh, we decided to get married. And uh, I'm so happy, you know, it's, it's the beginning of a big history and uh, we are both very excited. What are you looking forward to this week? Well, uh, just to put my best on the water, I've been training a lot and uh, I have my coach back. It is so important for me and uh, have been amazing years together now preparing for this world and for the next Olympics and I feel so ready and excited to be in the water to race and I've never been so happy in my whole life so all that I want is to put everything in my race and to enjoy the moment. Yeah okay well I remember when uh, it was announced that Tori was coming back uh, I mean you posted at the time just say how delighted and how important that was to you. Yes, so much. Actually, I have been so hard without him and I've been through so many things in my sport career that was very difficult. But uh, when I had the opportunity to have him back, it was just like amazing and I, I tried to enjoy every moment together. And he has been so important to me, you know, during this moment and we got prepared for this moment and we have sharing so many moments together and this is perfect. Okay, well, Anna, look, we wish you the best of luck this week. As you can hear, there's a band behind us. <laughs> but uh, enjoy the week in Brazilian style, I'm sure you will. And uh, we will be watching your results and we'll chat again after the world. Thank you so much, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Finally today, I checked in with Guy Diaz Canido, former athlete, Spanish coach, who also runs the Meta Slalom Statistics app. 
I've been following uh, Meta Slalom results and stats and uh, online. Uh, you, you've uh, amazed me forever. Firstly, yeah, thank you for doing all that work uh, with those results. I know it's tedious probably, but yeah. you enjoy it. But what are you looking forward to this week? So well, you want Spain to win? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. So from the Spanish team, I mean, we expect to perform like we can. So I think that's the main goal then because there's a lot going on, Olympic sports, uh, medals, world championships. It's also Olympic selection for us. So what we expect from our athletes is just to perform because we know they, they got it. So if they got good runs one after, after, after each one, we know they will have good results good, uh, that will get us some Olympic sports or every Olympic sport and, and that's it. Then after that, if we are in the finals, we can be in the medals for sure. And from the meta slalom part, I mean, uh, just to generate more data that I can use, that people like you can use, which makes me very happy. That's why I started all this and, I, and that keeps me going on. So for sure, World Championships are like, like the top uh, race in, in the year for, for generating data, to, for comparing to other races, and it's getting bigger and bigger. And after every, after every one, every race like this, um, it feels like it's more complete and I can generate more comparisons between years, seasons and athletes. Uh, I especially like uh, statistics like the one we published this week between the athletes that made the final in 2015, that made it again in 2019 and that are on the entries in this, uh, in this season and it amazes me that it's 18 people who made the final both in 15 and 19 and 14 people of those are in, in the entries in this race. So these are the kinds of things that are amazing me about doing, doing this job and that's it. So to day one of the competition, starting with the team races, defending team champions from the 2022 Augsburg World Championships with Germany in both K1 women and K1 men, Czech Republic in C1 women and Slovenia in C1 men. Should we expect to see France back on the podium in these teams? And with that, our 43rd ICF World Championships are officially underway. Talk to you tomorrow with results of the team race from the Lee Valley and preview of the canoe heats on Wednesday. Kayak heats run on Thursday. Thanks to my guests today, Richard Fox, Anna Satila and Guy Diaz Canido. Thanks to Aidan Johnson for help with sound editing. See you on the bank. Stay safe. That's it for now. But please subscribe to the podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or Audible. And please don't forget to share and leave a review too. In the meantime, keep it fast and clean.